Hey y'all, welcome back. I am Deja here here. Today we will be coloring this 613 unit into purple. We will be doing the watercolor method. The length is 16, 18, and 20. Three bundles. I'm just showing you how it looks. This unit was made on a sewing machine. I'm showing you the inside so you can see the quality, size small. It was a custom order for a customer, so now we are going to color it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab a bucket. This is my coloring bucket. You want to add in hot water, like steaming hot water. And you want to fill the bucket up halfway, I would say. So next you want to go ahead and grab your color we're using the kiss brand and you want to pour the entire bottle in the water and you want to go ahead and mix it together So now we are going to spray our lace because we don't want to stain our lace. So I'm just flipping the wig inside out and placing it on the canvas head. And I'm going to grab my gosh to be spray. You want to use a lot and spray the entire closure or frontal if you're using a frontal. You want to go ahead and let that dry for about five minutes. You can use a blow dryer if you like to speed up the process. Um, after you spray the lace, you want to go ahead and dip the water. I'm sorry, dip the wig in the water. And you just want to start at the end and work your way up to the roots, which is the closure. I don't put it in all at once. I, I constantly just dip it in. I take it out, dip it in, and take it out. And then I'm pushing it on the sides. I'm not going to place it directly on the closure. I'm just doing the sides as of right now. And then I will do the closure last. Now I am placing the closure in the water. So I did leave the wig in the water for 48 hours. It came out very beautiful. I just let it sit for 48 hours. I did flip it inside out. You know, just, I was just messing with it, you know, to make sure that everything got colored. After the 48 hours, um, I just washed it and I conditioned it, and that is what I'm doing now. I am taking the hair out of the color bucket and I'm going to rinse it out. I am using Ion Color Shampoo. Make sure if you are coloring colored hair, you are using a color shampoo. I'm going to wash the wig two times. After I wash it two times, I'm going to rinse it out and then I am going to condition the hair. I am also using the same brand uh, conditioner by Ion, and I let the conditioner in for 24 hours. 
I did not leave it in for 10 minutes. No, I left it in for 24 hours. Um, after I conditioned it, I left the conditioner on and I placed it in a bag. And I tied the bag in a knot. And I just let it stay for 24 hours. in the knot and now I'm just washing my hands I'm just going to clean the sink and I'm going to just clean my bucket so I let the hair air dry and this is how it turned out in its natural state Now we are going to flat iron it. I'm just going to use some heat protectant and a flat iron. So when I flat iron, I always use the chasing method. That is when you place the cone right in front of the flat iron and you just flat iron it straight down. The chasing method is going to ensure that you get your hair bone straight. This is how it turned out. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for future videos.